would share with us your thoughts when you decided to sh uh, sell McDonald's. A that year must ago. that must have been Charlie's idea, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Peter incidentally is in a family that that um, four generations have uh, essentially invested uh, with us, and uh, and they're all terrific people. I might add, his uh, dad was a wonderful guy. The uh, you know, I said it was a mistake and it, to sell it, and it was a mistake, and I just reported that in the interest of uh, candor, and there were some reasons why I thought it was so something we, I didn't think it was, I didn't think, obviously, that it was any great short sale or even a great sale, but I didn't think it belonged in the list of eight or ten of the businesses, of the very few businesses that we want to own in the world, and I would say that uh, uh, that that particular decision has cost you mm, in the area of a billion dollars plus. Charlie? You want me to rub your nose in? You're, you're, doing, a, you're doing a pretty good job by yourself. <laughs> by the way, that's a good practice around Berkshire. We do rub our own noses in it. We don't even need the help of the counters. <laughs> we... we we believe in postmortems at Berkshire. I mean, we really do believe. One of the things I used to do when I ran the partnership is I, I, I contrasted all sale decisions versus all purchase decisions. It wasn't enough that the purchase decisions worked out well. They had to work out better than the sale decisions. And managers tend to be reluctant to look at the results of the capital projects or the acquisitions that they propose with great detail a year or two earlier to a board, and they don't want to actually stick the figures up there as to how the reality worked out against the projections, and that's human nature. But I think you're a better doctor if you drop by the pathology department occasionally, and I think you're a better manager uh, or investor if you, uh, if you look at every one of the decisions you've made of importance and see which ones worked out and which ones didn't, and, and, and you know, what is your batting average? And if, if your batting average gets too bad, you better have handle the decision-making over to someone else. <laughs>